Are you going to do a face reveal video? Hello. How do you... I don't even know how to vlog or anything like that. It's very confusing. I hope this isn't focused. The last time I tried wasn't. Oh god. Okay. I said I was going to answer all the questions and I am going to do it, but I got so many questions that I have to combine some of them together. I'm just... I need sanity, okay? Are you Australian? No, I'm actually an alien. Would try to get OCR for clock again? For real? Uh, yes, I'm hoping I can get it back soon, ideally before the end of civilization. What is your opinion about 3x3 feet being removed? And do you think that clock should have been removed instead of feet? Oh, for God's... <sighs> feet isn't confirmed as actually being removed, okay? They're... It's looking like it's going to happen, but they're going to do a community consultation before they make any definitive action. I swear, you people sometimes. It's ridiculous. Cubing historian, you are awesome. Thank you. Can you make a vid on the events that are likely to happen in cubing in the future? N no, I'm a historian. I'm not a futurist. Occasionally a mathematician, I suppose, but come on, guys. Which one of your cats is your favourite? Scruffles! Hello? Hello? Cam, you do a video on Square One? I might at some point. That'd be an interesting puzzle to do a video on. What motivated you to make this channel? I wanted to make a cubing channel, but I wanted to have it be actually original. Hence. What events do you do and what are your mains and PBs? Really, the only one I practice with any regularity these days is Clock, because it's my best event. I average around 7 to 8 for it, although that's steadily been going down. I currently just use a Rubik's brand with non-magnetic pins because I'm poor, although hopefully that's going to change soon. What inspired you to create the Cubing Historian? I grew him from a batch of clones. Who inspired you to create this channel? Me. I did. How often do you curb? You know, I've never tried before. Let's find out. I guess I can't. If you speak cube, which you probably do, what are your mains in all events you compete? The only event I've ever done is 4 blind, for which I use an MF4S. What is your PB single and average for all your events you practice? And yes, face reveal? My square one PB single is 8.7 and my PB average is 10.43. It's the only event I actually practice. And yes. Which video of yours do you consider to be your best video? Oh god, none of them. They're all awful. Who is your biggest inspiration in cubing and why? Uh, Chris Hardwick. Um, his old page really got me interested in the community rather than just, you know, here's how to solve a cube. And he is just a fantastic human being. Best R Cubers Discord mod? John, aka Rules. Rules. Ru rule. R how long have you been interested in the mysteries and weird history of speed cubing? Since 1854, when dinosaurs walked the earth. How long have you been cubing? Since 1754, when giant bugs walked the earth. Where did you get the inspiration to start this channel? Someone wrote in this diary that I should do it. I don't know, it was weird. What cube do you think should be added to the WCA? Helicopter cube. It jumbles, which we don't have, and it's an edge turner, which we also don't have. I don't really know how jumbling notation would work though, but I mean that's surely that's the least of the issues. What method do you use to solve the 3x3? And what's your fastest time on 3x3? CFOP, and I think I got a 10 point something once. <sighs> yeah, I'm bad. What do you think about T-Series versus PewDiePie? 
Oh god, I want them both to die. How did you start this channel? Well, what you want to do is you want to, I mean, pretty much at this point, if you have a Google account, you have a YouTube channel. It's not particularly difficult and you can just start uploading from there and, uh, you know, change your profile or whatever and it's quite easy. Have you ever been in a WCA competition? Yes, in fact, I'm going to a few in the future. If so, what's your WCA ID? 2010 Maca 01! Please stalk me! Which video topic did you find the most fun slash interesting to research and why? The Pyramix one was bizarrely intriguing. I had no idea there was like that much history behind it, you know, besides Uwe Meffet. Um, it was really quite unexpected if I'm honest, so that was, that was a fun one. If you had to redo a video, which one would it be? Oh god, all of them. Which video were you most proud of when you uploaded it? Even when I read out the duplicates, there were questions which are so similar to others, but I can't Read them out. It's annoying. How fast can you solve a 3x3 three three and do you do speed solving? I average around 17 to 18. Whether or not that's actually considered speed solving these days is anyone's guess. What do you average on 3x3? Three three? 0.65 seconds. Seriously, watch. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic. Can you solve a cube? And if, what's your PB? I need to calm down on how many questions I answer. Hmm. What's your PB average of 100? Did you know that the UWR for the 3x3 average of 100 is 5.47 seconds by Max Park? It's crazy stuff. Could you give an explanation of how Rubik's cubes are connected to permutation groups? Well, you see, it in oh, oh, I, I'm sorry, I just got really tired all of a sudden. Hold on, hold on. What inspired you to start the Chanel? Hi, I'm the Cubing Historian. You may have seen some of my earlier work, such as Finding God's Number, which had reviews such as You make very informative and quality videos, and also not that long either. You have won a sub. Category, Autos and Vehicles. As well as, of course, Lies, 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 Earth is not a round ball like a globe, but round plane like a snow globe, a review which then went on for nearly 1800 words. Today, however, I'm here to announce a brand new product, Chanel No. Rubik. Chanel No. Rubik is a brand new cube lube which combines the speed of Angstrom Compound X with the aroma of Chanel No. 5. Just two drops into a cube and you'll be ready to go out to any cubing competition or date, confident that your cube will perform where it needs to and be attractive to anyone. Call now and we'll send you two bottles of Chanel No. Rubik and a GAN 356X for just $99.99. That's right, that's a $240 value for just $99.99. But wait, if you call right now, we'll triple the offer. That's right, we'll send you six bottles of Chanel No. Rubik, good to lube up to 4,000 cubes, and three GAN 356Xs, all for the same low price of $99.99. Here's how to order. Why did you spell skewb incorrectly so many times on that one video? I have no idea what you mean. Can you dab? Nope. God, I hate my life. Do you think chicken should be added as an event in future competitions? Yes. What would you want as a new WCA event? Okay, more leeway here because it doesn't have to be a new puzzle. 4x4 FMC. 3x3 FMC has been done to death, and 4x4 FMC, it'd be interesting to see like new techniques come out for that for a puzzle where we won't know the gods number for decades. And also, um, 4x4 FMC, you it's very unlikely that you'd be able to get an optimal solution within just an hour, so you know. That could be interesting. Would you rather hold the world record for any WCA event you'd like, or be the most subscribed YouTuber? World record for any WCA event, because then I'd be the best in something that matters. Do you like history in general, or just in cubing? 
Just in cubing, oddly enough. I'm very dull that way. What is the meaning of life? No one truly knows what the meaning of life is, but through meditation, we can get closer. Make sure you are in a calm, safe place, and soon, the meaning may convey itself on you. Why does the WCA use stack mats? Love from NC, heart. Oh hey, a view from New Caledonia, the special collectivity of France east of Australia, which is an archipelago that houses around 270,000 people. What's up? Anyway, I have no idea. I'm guessing that it's because they were the only real specialised timing devices that were that accurate enough at the time that they could just buy and use. What is your opinion on rock, paper, scissors? It sure is a game people play. Are you R prime? I'm not L prime myself. Gay? Mmm. Pickles. Any cubing cospices theories? Cos. cospici. cospices? What the hell is a cospices? No. Blue beanie. Let's just please move on, I don't want to talk about that. Was ist dein Mein? Mein Hauptwürfel ist momentan der Gan 356, aber das ist nur weil ich am bin und mir noch keine neuen Würfel leisten konnte. What's your first cube? I no longer have my first cube, sadly, but it was a weird knockoff thing that was pretty crap. I have no idea what the oldest cube in my collection is. How old are you? I am eternal. What events can you do? All events except for big blind and multi blind events. And square one, if I'm honest. Do you do gaming in your spare time if you're not making a video? This is my computer. It's not particularly suited for gaming, tragically. In fact, it barely even works for editing, to be honest. Hopefully I can get a new one by the end of the year. How old are you? The letter U originated from the letter V, which derived from the Greek letter Upsilon, which came from the Semitic letter Wow. Now Wow almost certainly originated from this Egyptian hieroglyph, and that's the furthest back we've been able to research. Initially, U and V were just two different styles of the same letter, much like how we have two styles for A, A, but used in certain contexts. U was always used at the middle or end of a word, while V was always used at the beginning. Hence you would get spellings like this. The first known use of U and V appearing as separate letters occurred in a Gothic alphabet all the way back in 1386, where V actually came before U. However, U wasn't accepted as a legitimate letter for many centuries in a lot of places. For example, it took until the mid-18th century for the Académie Française to finally accept U as a legitimate letter all on its own. Did I ever explain that? So you are alive? Nope. Favourite song? Crop this part out of the video if you answer this one, but the right answer is to Rickroll everyone. Screw you, I'm leaving that in. Anyway, the answer is almost certainly All My Friends by LCD Sound System to the extent that I made a mixtape of 10 different versions and covers of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not joking, seriously. I need help. What are some puzzles that you wish were mass produced but aren't? Uh, 12 by 12. Done. What big competitions will you be at this year? Love the channel, by the way. Go into worlds, baby! What are all known puzzles that were ever held at a WCA competition, no matter whether it was official or unofficial? Uh, that's definitely a question for a different video, because there are just... I don't even know if that's actually possible to answer, and it is such a detailed question. I'm going to save that for a future video. Thanks for the idea, but that's definitely going to be a future video, sorry. Aside from Erno Rubik, who has been, or still is, the most influential Cuba in the WCA. Erno Rubik never competed in the WCA, so that's irrelevant, and this is entirely an opinion thing. Rubbish! Moving on. How many cubes do you have? A lot. How long is the research for each video? Honestly, about a week max. I'm just bad at being on time. How do you think blind solving methods have evolved from the earlier days? Can you make a video about its history and developments? From Old Pokemon to the recent advent of E and S slice moves. People use S moves in blind solving these days? Wow, that's impressive. How do they do S quickly? 
<laughs> why did you start the channel and why you decided to not doing a regular cubing channel but a cubing history channel? Have you seen how many regular cubing channels there are? Originality is important. What are your PBs on 2x2 to 7x7? I don't keep track of PBs if I'm honest. Sorry. What have you the idea to start the channel of doing history on the Rubik's Cube? I quite like cubing history and I wanted to make a cubing channel. Hence. Was history your favourite subject in school? Oh god no, for some reason I never liked history much in real life, I don't know why. Do you have any plans of covering more histories of cubing hardware? I want to make a Dion video, but I want to get all the Dion 3x3s before making it. So yeah, it might take a while. Do you want to become a WCA delegate? No. Do you speed cube? If so, what are your mains? Yep, I got mains, here they are! 6x6 <laughs> yeah. or 7x7? 6x7. Car. Name reveal? Count Kirill Vladimirovich Bezukov. <laughs> Have you ever met Mr. Zemdegs at a comp? No, he doesn't exist. I've met Mr. Zemdegs at a comp before though. He's nice. How many hours does it take you to make a video? Including research. Once again, way less than I pretend. Anxiety! How long does it usually take to make one video? Seven. Do you think you'll ever hit 10k subscribers? I hope so anyway. How often do you go to comps? What is Yout's 2x2 average? A few times a year. And this! made you start your channel? I was forced to by scruffles. Are you planning to or do you have a history degree? Nope! Can blind people dream? From what I understand, yes. They just don't see anything, obviously. What is the best WCA event and how many competitions have you been to? Clock! And 20! Maybe 21 by the time you've seen this actually. Hopefully not. Zimbabwe noodles? Chinese is his chwala. Do you speed solve? And if so, what are your times? 3x3. Three three. Yeah, I need to coalesce these. What do you think the Cuban community would look like without YouTube? Or even without the OG YouTubers like Muggy Dude, Throst, and Me, Myself, and Pi? Ah, I remember those guys. Rest in pepperoni. Anyway, no one knew it's popular. When were the regulations put into the WCA allowing for blind persons to enter with cubes with raised patterns? Uh, April 14th, 2010. What's your best speed cube? Gan 356S. Wow, real answer. Huh. Do you like cuboids? Yeah, they're not bad. What is your favourite name for any competition? Mine is Mental Breakdown, where they only had the most brain heavy events. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. Mine is this, which I'm putting in after the fact because I haven't actually done the research for this bit yet. Editing tricks. In your op opinion, what was the most interesting topic you've made a video about? Also, will you ever do a face reveal? Pyramids, I'm just surprised at how interesting that was. And yeah, done, face. Face. Can you cure my depression? Here, have some Zoloft. What do you think about the popularity that cubing has earned over the past few years? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, sure, there's gonna be a lot of annoying people now, but that's the same with any hobby, and some of those annoying kids are going to grow up to become very valued members of the community. Felix Zemdegs was just an annoying kid once, and look how he's turned out. What are your thoughts on the 3.47 world record? How long do you think it will last, and who do you think will break it? Sure as the soul that was quick. Considering how lucky it was though, it is absolutely impossible to tell when it's going to be broken again. It's going to be broken in the next competition I go to, isn't it? Do you have the GAN 356X? If so, do you think its price is justified? Nope! What are your cubing goals for 2019? Also, your goals for your YouTube channel? Solve more. Destroy Jehua. The usual stuff. Have you ever go to competition? Never. Will you attend Worlds 2019? Oh yeah, baby! How can you develop F2L Look Ahead? Also, does pineapple belong on pizza? <laughs> I have no idea for the first one. I'm not fast enough. The second one, though? I mean, it's an opinion thing. I don't mind it myself, but I mean, I'm a bit weird like that. As a Hong Konger, that's cool of you for putting the Hong Kong time in the video, lol. Would you do more videos concerning methods like the ZB video? No worries. I might in the future. 
I'm not too sure yet. Do you have to get permission for all of the content you use, or is most of it just public accessible and free to use? Uh, right now I'm mostly writing on the hope that all of this is fair use. I may need to get better, I'm not very good at this. Don't be surprised if one day you try and find an old video of mine and they've all been replaced by remade versions. What editing software do you use? Caden Live! Which explains why all my videos are edited so poorly. No, it doesn't, I'm just crap. Do you speed solve 3x3 or solve any other type twisty puzzle? And if so, do you go to comps? No one is even going to notice if I don't include this. I suppose I can delete it in the edit. What is your favourite food? <laughs> have you ever thought of making a full documentary on cubing history? I have now. How do you manage to find the pictures you are looking for? <coughs> what do you use to edit the pictures you find? GIMP! If I throw a ball at 5 miles per hour and Bob likes to watch your videos, can you find the speed in which Jimmy eats a galling of feathers? I mean, it depends on a number of factors. I mean, I'm assuming a galling is a litre, you know, the normal ecclesiastical approach, and except on Sundays. But how much does Bob like to watch my videos? And how, what direction are you throwing the ball in? There are just too many unspoken variables here to answer the question, I'm sorry. Do you play any musical instruments? Meet a moral coward, one who lacks a manly spark. I just detest a man afraid to go home in the dark. I always spend my evening where there's women, wine, and song. But like a man, I always bring my little wife along. I'm a member of the Midnight Crew. I'm a night owl and a wise bird, too. Uh, no. I can't. How many letters does the answer to this question have? Four. There are some videos you post that don't make sense. Can you explain their meaning? Oh god. Okay. So those are little giveaway things which have long since ended. Um, my plan was, you know, you could have like a little solvable puzzle in them and, you know, it's all creepy because, you know, ooh, Halloween. Um, and I'm sort of inspired by like Marble Hornets and Tribe 12, I really like that kind of stuff, so I uh, sort of made them like that. However, no one really got it and it was just all confusing and okay, I'll stop that one. What do you think? Will there ever be the last world championship? Yep, when we move to Mars and have interplanetary championships. Would you rather obtain $10,000? or an infinite voucher to your store of choice? $10,000, obviously. There's a lot more I want than just cubes. How tall are you? Please shout out my name, Same. Same! About 167 centimeters. Will you be doing any more videos like the Felix Zemdex video on another person? If anyone is crazy enough to let me, then yes. First off, two questions. TCH cat? TCH cat! And also, how fast can you solve the rubric? I can solve a maths rubric in about two hours, but an English or history rubric takes me a lot longer. I'm more of a sciencey person. What is your favourite event, and what is your 3x3 PB? I refuse to answer this again. Are you doing a giveaway anytime soon? I plan to take all 87 million of my MF3s to Cool Down Sydney 2019, put them on a table, and just let people have them. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes! History of Speedcube Shop? Once upon a time, a guy named Cameron Brown, yeah, come on, set up a shop to sell speed cubes. Uh, the end. What colour is your toothbrush? Green! Always have your toothbrush on you, you never know when it'll come in handy. Do you personally compete in WCA competitions? I just realised that this mix makes like 12 pancakes and I'm the only person in the house. This is going to cause problems. What do you think about the new world record for 3x3 single? 3.47 by Yu Sheng Du. Oh, it's a sad face. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this one giant pancake and I guess I'm going to have to put the rest of the mix in the fridge. Yeah, hopefully someone else will have it or something. Do you like Sonic the Hedgehog? Gotta go fast! Bloody hell. Away from Sonic. Will you answer this question? 
Yes! Who inspired you to start cubing in YouTube? See, the trick with pancakes, right, is uh, what do you want to do? You want to cover them with uh, honey, and you want to, ow, just have just a little bit of sugar. There you go. Or just whatever you have on your pancakes normally. I mean, I'm not judging you. And then what do you do, right? This is the interesting part. You roll it up like this. Eh. Eh. And so now what you've got is a mess. And so yeah, now you've rolled it up. Pick it up. Oh god, expect to get messy. And uh, you just need it like this. So it's convenient because you get through as much of the pancake as you can as quickly as you can. What do you average on 3x3? Three three? Num num num! What is a non-WCA puzzle that you would want to be in the WCA? Helicopter cube! Helicopter cube! What's your favourite twisty puzzle? Top Minx! What is your blind OH FMC Alexander's Star PB? That. How do you feel about feet being removed from WCA? Also, will you ever upload a solve video? It's not being removed! Yet! Also, no. Dear Cubing Historian, are you going to Worlds 2019? No, not anymore. You've asked me this too many times. Sorry. Did you know that nurse gay? Dude, I've seen your Tumblr tags. It's the gayest thing in the universe. Can you do a history video about speedcube.com.au and can you do a skew sledge on camera? I'm not sure there's much history about them. I mean, I suppose I could ask. And I don't actually currently own a cube, so I can't. Sorry. Has anyone really been far even as decided to use Even Go Want To Do Look More Like? You've got to be kidding me. I've been further even more decided to use Even Go Need To Do Look More as anyone can. Can you really be far even as decided half as much to use Go Wish for that? My guess is that when one really being far even as decided wants to use Even Go Want, it is then that he has really been fear far even as decided to use even got wanted to look more like. I mean, it's just common sense. And that took me like 15 takes. What method do you use for solving 3x3? CFOP. I'm boring like that. Could you do an episode on the GAN company in the future? It's technically possible, I suppose. What is your current job? Sadly, I don't have one at the moment. I'm hoping that'll change soon. Why don't you post more often? Eh, uh, I'm busy with my job and stuff. Do you think magic could come back with new regulations? It'd have to be pretty weird regs. What, in your objective opinion, is the most important cubing historic moment ever? Opinions aren't objective, that's the whole point of them. But I guess, if you're really asking me, the invention of the Rubik's Cube. What is your least favourite official WCA event? Pyraminx! Sorry. Your videos about God's number, Devil's algorithm, and the cubing mathematician really got me into the maths of the cube. Well, that's concerning. Will there be more maths videos like those in the future? Maybe the mathematics of parody on 4x4? Hmm, possibly. Why do those in the future? Thanks for the idea, anonymous nerd. You will not be credited. Sorry. Sicko mode or Mobamba? Oh, neither. God. Do you ever imagine YouTube becoming you full-time job? No, God forbid. How many competitions have you been to? I. Where did you get the information for your videos? Research! What's your favourite dinosaur? Sinraptor. I have just decided. Could you make a Discord server? It would be really cool and a lot of people will definitely join in my opinion. Oh, definitely not. I know I would go power mad and ban any and all criticism, no matter how valid. Someone else is free to make one if they wish, but not me. What cubing channel do you always watch every video they post? Derpy Cuba, Nathan Wilson, a couple others I can't remember right now. How did you came up with the idea of making your YouTube channel? 
My brain. What is your favorite cube? Top minks, top minks, top minks. Will you ever do a collab with anyone? No, of course not. PewDiePie versus T-Series, whom do you support? Uh, once again, I wish them both dead. What will be the limit of 3x3 average in your opinion? I'm not even going to make a prediction on this because it will definitely be wrong. Lower than 5.8. Ha! When did you start solving the cube? Next Tuesday. Why did you start this channel and not just a normal cubing channel? Normal cubing channels are seriously overplayed. What's your favourite event? Clock! What is the biggest cuboid to exist as of January 2019? Um, probably the 1x2x111 by by that Gregoire Fennig made, um, a couple months back. I mean, it's really hard to tell, like, how are you judging this? Well, this video is now way too long. I'm going to sleep for a thousand years and then work on the World's 2007 video, but more importantly, I'm never doing anything like this again. Half of my videos recently have not been cubing history related. It's, like, it's ridiculous. So, what I'm gonna do... From now until the end of the year, I'm going to put out one video a month, and every single one of them will be cubing history. I promise. I mean, it's just getting ridiculous now. Seriously, good God. Ah!